both of you, I'm obviously Bangladeshi diaspora. So although when I was growing up in the 70s, it was a very young country, I think I'm only one year older than it. In fact, it's possible I was conceived when the early months of the 1972. Anyway, look, growing up, I remember actually the first time uh, I was called Paki at school, I said, no, it's Bangladesh, it's a separate country, it's independent. <laughs> you know, we always felt our country sort of wasn't on the radar particularly. And I remember the first time when my mum saw, I think it was a Marks and Spencer's cotton shirt, and it said made in Bangladesh, and literally in our house, everyone's hearts swelled with pride to see our national name on the labour, oh, oh, label, sorry, the label behind the label, I have to thank for doing all your amazing <laughs> stuff on this. So yeah, on the label to see the word Bangladesh, but kind of now, older, wiser that I am, you know, we know what is, as you say, the labour behind the label, and you know the sort of history behind all that. So, um, I mean, I guess the Rana Plaza, people are calling it the biggest industrial disaster ever, industrial accident. I think one blog I saw called it an industrial genocide. I mean, well, that's quite a strong term, I think. But, you know, it's the logical conclusion of the argument that, oh, this health and safety, we don't need health and safety, this meddling and annoying stuff. And, you know, the figures are quite stark. About 1,138, the official death toll, that's meant to be a gross underestimate. We know probably two and a half thousand people injured life uh, changing injuries in those kind of cases and that Bangladesh that was a rickety country at the beginning I think George Harrison did a concert for Bangladesh he sang Bangladesh it's such a mess Henry Kissinger said Bangladesh is a basket case so from that country it's now a sort of economic powerhouse Rushanara who spoke very powerfully is the trade envoy and she knows that the you know the growth is quite astronomical it's something um, you know other countries